Great day, friends. What a great day it is to have a great day. Have a great day. It is a great day. And thank you for joining us on episode number two. Episode number two of Dig In with the Dicker Sons. Let's yes. dig in. Can we dig in? We can, but first, before we dig in, okay. let's educate and give some value about subscribing. Added value right up front. I like it. Yep. Subscribing. Last week, we got a comment that said, how much does it cost to subscribe? Now, obviously, this individual didn't quite understand subscribing on YouTube, so we put together a short, short video to educate a few people. Check this out. Added value. All right, friends. So you want to know why you want to subscribe to Dig In with the Dickersons. One, you like our videos. Two, you want to see more videos like this. And three, it tells YouTube that you like our content and you want others to see the Dickersons on YouTube. So what do you need to subscribe to our channel? Google account. Number two, strong index, wait for it, finger. Take your index finger, point it up, and stretch it out. So this is the finger that you should be using to subscribe right now to dig in with the Dickersons. Let's answer another question that someone asked. Hey Barry, what does it cost to subscribe to your YouTube channel? Okay, this is for everybody who didn't think I had a voice. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to dig in with the Dickersons. All right, so now that you've met Barry Bear oh, and yeah. you know what it is to subscribe, I want you to pause, not the video, but pause to subscribe, turn on your notifications, and to also share. Yes, always share, always share. Speaking of notifications that she was talking about, turning on your notification, I noticed something different about you today. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you didn't just notice it today. I hope they noticed today. Okay. Because you are a part of the... That's true. That's true. I was. You're a part. So if you notice, I did get my haircut, my quarantine haircut. Yep. Looking pretty, made it pretty sharp. Uh, my personal barber. I had to hook her up. I had to go back. Now, I used to cut her hair way, way back when we first got married. And then I was happy to kind of release her to... You're looking at me like... What, he was what happy mean? to release <laughs> me, but reluctant to take me back. Here we are, quarantined. Uh, and so we had to get her shaped up. And check out this quick video of our haircutting experience. There it is. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we got to get that under control. So I went and I bought some clippers uh, uh, yes nappy nappy we need yeah we, it is we got to go get a, a regular comb the blonde is going to be gone okay because i'm going to cut it below the bottom below the blind rather you had combed your hair out in like forever you're so used to brushing it and being curly you need to hurt that hurts me when's the last time i cut your hair it's like been yeah, forever had it's been over 20 years I had just enough to get braids. I should have gotten braids. This hair, I just said, it didn't grow bad, right? Uh, somebody's getting a haircut. Somebody's getting a haircut. Alana. Yes, sir. Your mother's office is located where? On the other side of the house. In the morning, when she gets in there, 10, 10 30. Oh, it's a praise and worship thing. I was like, she doesn't know that other people in the house are working? <laughs> I just concentrated with the heart. <laughs> That's what I say. If Barry just concentrated a little bit harder. <laughs> I started closing my door. Oh. I'm like, and it was one part you like, oh, I got, I got to turn that one up. 
I hear the chain <laughs> falling. I'm like, all right. <laughs> you can hear a pin drop in your dad's office. Both of us working in the same place. I got to be a little more considerate. It's good enough for government working. All right. Did you see that? Did you see that hair? It was a lot there. Once you got it all combed out, all picked out a little bit, she, she's used to keeping it nice and short and, and brushed down, but we had to get it uh, in, in shape. So I want to make an adjustment. You know, the haircutting experience, everything, it was been part of Alicia's rebranding. She's been going through some training. So I want to talk about and focus on her rebranding and what's going on on the MK. But I want to do that in an interview style. So stay in character, okay? Hi again, everyone. Welcome back to Inside Scoop. I'm your host, Barry, and I want to welcome into the studio my very special guest. This is Alicia Dickerson. She is Southwest Florida's number one independent beauty consultant, and she is going to talk to us about rebranding. Uh, and so let's welcome her into the studio. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, let's get right into it. Let's dig right in, if you will. See, I broke character already. <laughs> let's dig right in. Uh, why rebranding? What went into the effort uh, or the decision for rebranding? Uh, I chose to rebrand because I wanted to be the cover girl for my my company. Okay. I wanted to be the spokesperson. I wanted to be the expert. So you wanted uh, your clients or customers to see you first. Oh, by the way, you said cover girl. Don't want people to be confused. This is Mary Kay, MK all the way. Second is I know that you were telling me before we came on air that you had gone through some training for rebranding. And so just talk a little bit about some of the uh, key from your training. All right, um, I would say three of the most important takeaways for me would be to, as I said, be an expert. Okay. Be the one your customers, team members, and those who you are in, um, in the presence of know you as the expert. The second is to be genuinely concerned about your customers. Know your customers. Okay. Know what their um, skin care goals are. Know how you can assist them in enhancing their natural beauty. Okay. And then finally, I would say social media. Social media is where it's at. Um, everyone's using social media to get themselves out there to um, the masses. My producers are telling me, Barry, you got about 60 seconds. So... I'm going to turn that over to you and give you opportunity to tell the viewers uh, any last thoughts about your whole rebranding experience. Uh, just to kind of expound upon the my key takeaways is make sure you're leaning in to learning, dig in to learning, and then you want to be open to new ways to work in your business. But I want to let the audience know also that. Um, Partner with someone who knows that part of the business that's, that you may not be so well versed Got in. It. Um, social media is huge. We all know how to go on Facebook. We now know how to subscribe on YouTube. But there are experts who can help you to brand yourselves um, in those markets and they know the do's and don'ts of um, your particular company. Going to an expert can help you become more of an expert in your area right. because you cannot do it alone. Right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it right here and you got the inside scoop. Join me next week when I've got cooking expert Javier Gomez on Inside Scoop. See you guys later. All right, so now that we have done our interview on Inside Scoop, Inside Scoop. let's return back to dig in with the Dickerson. So All right. let's dig in with you about what you experienced with my rebranding. First and foremost, I, I need to tell everyone I'm totally supportive of it, totally behind it because I've always thought that she is dynamic. The focus should be uh, more on, on you and not necessarily uh, the, the MK products that you have, the structure and everything else. The other thing is recognizing that she's been going through a lot of training and uh, a lot of practice tapings. You know, this, this, this woman will, you know, will take <laughs> 40, 50 takes to get a 60 second, you know, uh, amount of footage, but I gotta be patient in that. And as a director in putting together Helping her to put that together, I had to be a little bit more yeah, patient. Yeah, but you, you have some experience, and that was once your trick, communication. Yes. I am a genuine communicator, 
So it was a challenge for me to start talking to a camera. Camera, there's a person right there. If there is a person, so I had to make a switch. So there's I just person, want you there's to know, people, I am genuine. Yeah. I am not stuffy Alicia. So. Oh, but speaking of that, hey, there was. A <laughs> <laughs> I did catch a couple of blooper videos uh, during her early tapings. A little bit of a struggle, but check it out right now. Welcome to my website. I want to empower you. To I want to ed There is only Now let's take a moment and click on the four pillars of Alright, so you see I am not <laughs> the expert. I get a little frustrated with me, but that's the perfectionist in me. But um, so what else did you take away from it? Okay, the last thing I want to mention is the fact that obviously as the advertiser, she is my customer, my client, and so my effort was to build a uh, online presence through a, what we call a landing page. A landing page is a vehicle, if you will, it's a platform where we create the attention online and then bring them to your page and then uh, funnel them, if you will, or convey them to your Mary Kay website. Right. So my now, customers can now find me at yes. www dot alicia c dickerson dot com which is a landing page and not a website i learned that guy before we before we before we get too far into this we almost forgot yeah the cooking component there is a cooking component to this show the cooking component is us preparing our meals and showing them to you during our videos and you deciding which one looks the best because you're not able to come in our home and taste them but you can look we put a lot into our presentation yeah so with that in mind take a take a look at this real quick and then we're going to ask you to uh cast your vote yes and we'll share that with you on our next episode of dig in with the dickerson watch it So cast your votes mm -hmm. for A, Alicia, B, Barry, and we'll let you know who won. Team Barry, and Team someday Barry. we may have to have an actual tasting for some of our friends. Okay, we need to get out of here, but first let's do a quick check. Did we add value? We did. We added value at the very beginning by giving them an understanding of what subscribing to a YouTube channel is. Very, very important. And oh, by the way, like, subscribe dig in with the Dickerson. Second, we expanded our brand. We talked about your whole rebranding and the effort that's going into uh, increasing and enhancing your business as a Mary Kay independent beauty consultant. Third is making a difference. Uh, we made a difference in giving them knowledge and educating them on how it is to expand the brand and to add value to. And having that online presence, which is so important in today's times. Okay, hey, we're getting out of here. We want to thank you once again for joining us on Dig In with the Dickerson. And with that, I'm going to let you roll us out. All right, before we go, we want you to remember that today is a great day. To have a great day. To have a great day. We'll see you guys in two weeks. See, I got it right that time. <laughs> you got it right. Bye for now.